I would love to be remembered as an honest guy uh, rather than a musician or an engineer or a mayor. We try to inspire youths for uh, not thinking about yourself only. You should think about your society, think about your city. Mayor, for a city like yours in South Asia, what are the key questions, the big questions for the quality of life that are your priority? Quality of life is defined differently in South Asian countries because uh, life is not only about having food and good shelter because our country is really cultural. There are a lot of intangible heritage, there are a lot of events. There are a lot of temples and there are a lot of rituals. So the quality of life, uh, we believe, is having to live your own life in your own culture, communicating with your own language and doing the events related to your culture, your community, and everything is there, and proper education and health facility. So we have a provision of uh, at least 10% of uh, bed designated for like uh, people who are below the economic level. So the quality of life is uh, good health, good education, and yeah, uh, trying to live in, inside the community. So in terms of this health agenda, this is doesn't only depend on individuals, but there's also conditions of the city structure itself, in the air, in the water, that are important. Which are those other issues about a healthy city that you're dealing with? Yeah, in terms of air quality, uh, we are really working on that because we are trying to, uh, like uh, the vehicles which are too longer on the roads, like more than 20 years, we are trying to eradicate those vehicles. We are trying to promote electrical vehicles. And also we are trying to do some research on how to convert these vehicles because those Vehicles are in good condition, but all over the world people are using electrical vehicles. So uh, these, these vehicles cannot be like demolished quickly. So we are trying to look for ideas if we can convert it uh, into electric. And also we are trying to control pollution, air pollution in terms of dust. There, are, there is a lot of uh, construction produced dust. So we are trying to control it with uh, new technologies new technology for the asphalt, roads, footpaths to produce less dust. And also the major part of air pollution in our country, uh, not in the city but overall the country, is uh, these uh, forest fires. So forest fires um, are mostly, uh, mostly natural and sometimes uh, initiated by human beings, people. We are trying to collaborate with our central government and other agencies how, how we can prevent that because uh, most of the time uh, people think the air quality is degraded due to the dust and the smoke produced by the vehicles, but it is because of the forest fires, so that is a major problem. There are no much of uh, industries, uh, chemical producing industries, because tourism is the major business which does not uh, produce carbon in our country. So yeah, we are actually affected by the rest of the world. Our, our country is 60% green. So we are actually you know, affected by other developed countries, pollution and all. Our, our mountains, our glaciers are depleting, not because of us, but because of the, there is China there, there is India there, there are a lot of other developed countries. So yeah, we are working, working on it. And how the how is climate change affecting you? How are you getting ready for? Yeah, effect? climate change is affecting a lot to us because of other carbon-producing countries. So we are trying to advocate about that. Uh, we are trying to advocate other countries how how we can be resilient for that, how we can control it. Since it's a small country, we need to like uh, advocate these things on some higher platforms. You are one of the youngest mayors of a global metropolis, of a very large city in the world. How do you try to convince young people to become active in the life of the city, in the political life of the city, and to be engaged? Being young and like most of the politicians in our country are above 50 and 60, so I don't want to make people feel that only young people should do politics because also experienced people should do politics. I should have been doing something else. But due to these uh, older politicians not doing well, I thought of doing it. So we try to inspire youths for uh, not thinking about yourself only. You should think about your society, think about your city, your surroundings. 
uh, each day you need to inspire a, a children, a kid, or somebody. Inspire them to be honest to yourself first, because uh, most of the people are not honest to themselves. So people need to be first honest to themselves, then they can be honest to the society, the city. So where we try to inspire with uh, different activities, and also I, I do my music, and uh, with my music I try to inspire people for the social needs as well. And uh, as this young musician mayor, what would you like to be your legacy for Kamandu? What you, would you like to be remembered as a mayor? I would be. I would love to be remembered as an honest guy, uh, rather than a musician or an engineer or a, or a mayor. After some times, after after a few years, after a few decades, people should uh, learn about honesty. People should uh, learn about non-corruption. People should learn about integrity. So uh, we try to inspire with those kind of things. Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, thanks for being with us, uh, Metropolis, and for sharing all these great ideas about the city. Thank you, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Shunas.